So in this video, we're going to look at a constrained optimization problem where we want to minimize the cost of a rectangular storage container uh, with an open top, and it's going to have a volume of 20 meters cubed. The length of its base is twice the width, so I started my drawing here. Base is W, so that means the length is 2W, and I don't know the height, so it's H. Material for the base costs $20 per square meter. Material for the sides costs $10 per square meter. We want to find the cost of the cheapest such container. So, uh, before I pull this away, how I came up with my equations. Well, the volume of this is 2W squared H, and the, according to the problem, it had to be 20 meters cubed. Um, for the cost, well, the base is 2W by W, so that's 2W squared times $20, so that's where the 40W squared came from. The left and the right side, their area is 2WH, and there's two of them, so that's 4WH times $10 per square meter. That's where the 40WH came from. And the front and back are WH for an area. And then there's two of them, so 2WH times the $10 per square meter is where the 20WH came from. And so simplifying a step is, is what I got. Okay, so we're going to solve this using Lagrange multipliers, which means we need our, par need our partials of both our our objective function. So C sub W equals 80W plus 60H and C sub H now we take the parcel with respect to H that's the only term with an H in it, it's 60W. Now we're going to do the same here, we're going to do V sub W which is, we're going to take the partial with respect to W, so that'll be 4WH, and then we got V sub H, which is going to be 60W, sorry, V sub H, which is going to be 2W squared. So we'll set up our system. So we have 80W plus 60 h equals lambda times 4wh uh, the next one is going to be 60w equals lambda times 2w squared and our last one is our constraint which is that we know that 2w squared h must equal 20 now there's a whole bunch of ways that may be useful for solving the system once you create it uh, what I notice is this one might be easy to solve because I could solve it for W. So um, let's solve this guy here for W. So we can divide both sides by a W. And so to solve for W, all I got to do is divide by lambda 2 on both sides. So I'm going to get W equals 60 over 2 lambda or 30 over lambda. Okay. Well, you know what? that might be useful because what I can do is I can sub that W in for this one and I'm going to be able to get rid of lambda. So let's see what happens when I do that. So I'm going to write this over here. I've got 80 W plus I'm going to leave the, six, the W in this one equals lambda 4 times 30 over lambda times H. So the lambdas cancel, and I end up with 80W plus 60H equals 4 times 30 is 120H. Subtract the 60H off of both sides, and I get 80W equals 60H. And now, what I can do, this didn't give me W or an H, but it did give me the relationship between the two. So I'm going to solve this for H so I can plug it in here. So I'm going to divide both sides by 60. And I get H equals 4 thirds W so that I can plug it into this guy. So, sorry, this is getting a little messy, but we have 2 W squared times 4 thirds W equals 20. So what I have is 8 thirds w cubed equals 20 or the w cubed 
equals multiply both sides by 3 8 and I'll get 60 over 8 or 7.5 so W is the cube root of that or 7.5 to the 1 3rd which is roughly let's see what we get for that about 1.957 so 1.957 <clears throat> now that we know W we can find H because it's just four thirds of that and so we get that H is roughly about 2.61 now we can plug those values into our cost function to get our cost which if you calculate that out you get roughly about 459 and 79 cents. So that's how we could do this one with Lagrange multipliers.